What do you do if you want to see something so far into space that you'll never be able to reach it? You've sent a space observatory. NASA has accomplished this by launching the James Webb Space Telescope into deep space to assist us in seeing more of our universe. The very edge of the universe will be one of the destinations for the space telescope. The discovery near the universe's edge promises to be terrifying. What will the telescope observe at the universe's edge? Will it be able to see the universe's edge? And how will this impact you personally? Welcome, as we investigate the astonishing discovery made by the James Webb Space Telescope near the edge of the universe, which has the potential to change mankind. But before we proceed, kindly leave a like and subscribe to support the channel. How capable is the James Webb Space Telescope now that it has arrived in orbit and work on getting it up and running has begun? How strong is this new space eye? According to NASA, the JWST is so sensitive to infrared light that it could detect even a bumblebee's small heat from the moon's distance. To put it another way, this telescope is 100 times more powerful than the legendary Hubble telescope, which has been providing us with incredible views of the universe for over three decades. The JWST is designed to essentially take baby photographs of the universe. Sure, Hubble can take incredible pictures of space, but it has its limitations. It hasn't permitted scientists to glimpse the first galaxies that formed after the Big Bang, for example. Webb will change that, since it will operate as a massive time machine. It's like if we have this 14 billion year old universe tale, but the initial chapter is missing. The JWST will capture light that has been traveling across space for up to 13.5 billion years, allowing us to see the universe hundreds of millions of years before Hubble. What gives the Webb telescope its incredible power? The 6.4 meter diameter primary mirror is a part of it. It is made up of 18 smaller parts that must be exactly aligned. A single strand of human hair is 1,000 times thicker than the gold coating that covers the segments. 24 karat gold, which weighs less than 2 ounces, reflects infrared light better than other metals. Infrared is slightly outside the visible range of human vision. The mirrors are really constructed of beryllium rather than solid gold. The Webb telescope must be kept cool in order to perform properly. A five-layer sunshield the size of a tennis court is responsible for this. When Webb launched on Christmas Day, the mechanism was folded up, but the shield's extremely thin layers were successfully deployed less than two weeks later. The sun's enormous heat would overwhelm the telescope's sensors if it weren't for this shield. The side facing the sun will be around 260 degrees Fahrenheit, while the opposite side will be roughly 370 degrees below zero, a difference of nearly 600 degrees. Webb has a sun protection factor of 1 million thanks to the sunshield. One of the things that worries scientists about the Webb telescope is that they won't be able to correct any problems that develop during the launch and operation. In comparison, Five space shuttle crews have visited Hubble during its lifetime to rectify the telescope's original hazy vision and undertake maintenance and upgrades. However, this is due to the Hubble being only 340 miles away. The Webb telescope is about a million kilometers distant. This is far beyond the repair capabilities of spacewalking astronauts. As a result, NASA just has one chance to get it right. If the right technology is created, scientists may be able to send a robot to refuel Webb in the future, extending its life. In terms of fuel, NASA expected the telescope to survive only 10 years, but due to a successful launch, there is enough fuel left to keep the JWST running for another 20 years. For the time being, scientists are waiting for Webb's first photographs, which are expected this summer. The JWST will then get down to business. It will aid in the study of dark energy in the universe and the comprehension of the nature of these ancient things. It will also aid in the search for another Earth among the numerous exoplanets scattered throughout the universe. Interestingly, even before taking its first images, the JWST began showing its worth, nearly $10 billion. Because a precise mirror had never been made before, Northrop Grumman, who built the telescope's mirrors, had to break new ground. Eye doctors are now using the technologies that the company invented. They also worked on computer-related projects. The organization has made significant progress in understanding how to deploy large objects, such as how we fold up an enormous sunshield the size of a tennis court and deploy it. What will astronomers see with the JWST when they try to see the edge of the universe? Humans have always been curious about the world around them, yet traveling through the universe involves not only traveling through space, but also traveling through time. Before we proceed, we must first establish something the universe's dimension, 
Since in order to discover the edge, we must first understand the universe's dimensions. Our universe is estimated to be 13.772 billion years old, which is incredibly ancient. So just how huge is our universe? Its width is estimated to be 28.5 gigaparsecs by scientists today. Understanding the magnitude of that figure necessitates a rudimentary understanding of astronomical units. What is the size of a parsec? To comprehend how a parsec is defined, it is necessary to first comprehend what an astronomical unit, or AU, is. The average distance between the Sun and the Earth is approximately 150 million kilometers, or 1 AU. So a parsec is the largest length of a triangle whose shortest side is 1 AU, and the opposite vertex subtends an angle of 1 arc second. If you do the math, 1 parsec is 3.26 light years, or the distance light travels in a year, which is approximately 9 trillion 460 billion kilometers. We're talking about 28 gigaparsecs, or 93 billion light years, or 879,780 times 10 raised to the power of 18 kilometers. That is very massive. When all humans on Earth's DNA is stretched together, it will be about 0.119 billion light years long. Now closely examine the figures provided previously, and you'll see that something appears to be off. Isn't the speed of light the ultimate fastest speed possible? So, if the universe is 13.7 billion years old, how does it have a width of 93 billion light years? If an object generated shortly after the Big Bang traveled at the speed of light, it should have traveled a maximum of 13.7 billion light years by now. Nothing more, nothing less. Where did all the matter beyond this point come from? This is when Hubble's law comes into play. According to the law, things detected in distant space are redshifted. The term redshift refers to the shift of light's wavelength to the red end of the spectrum, or an increase in wavelength. However, why does the wavelength lengthen? For one thing, space is expanding. Not only are objects moving apart from one another, but the fabric of space is growing as well. This is when things get crazy. The expansion is speeding up. Dark matter and dark energy are thought to play a significant role in this behavior. When calculating the width of the universe, the extra distance due to space expansion must be taken into account. This is why the universe's edge is clearly not 13 billion light years away from Earth. It is estimated to be significantly higher. What is the most distant astronomical object visible to humans? One thing to consider is that certain objects in the universe may never be seen. Why? Earth is 16 billion light years away. Horizon of the universe is the present cosmic event. Are we almost there? Not yet, no. This is the maximum distance at which light could ever reach us if it originated today. This means that the expansion of space is faster than the speed of light beyond 16 billion light years. The light will obviously never reach us, because it will have to travel across an increasing space. This also means that any event that occurs beyond the cosmic event horizon today will not be visible to us, no matter what. However, telescopes like the JWST enable us to look further. The GNZ11 galaxy, which is around 32 billion light years away from Earth, is the most distant galaxy yet discovered. Remember, we include in the expansion of space when calculating this distance. We approach the surface of last scattering, which is 46 billion light years from Earth. That is what you will notice regardless of which direction you look. After recombination and photon decoupling, the last scattering surface looks like a homogeneous sphere of fog from which the first ever photons of cosmic microwave background radiation emerged. It is the genesis of the very first scattering of light, but the last of what we can perceive, despite the name. Is this the universe's final frontier? Both yes and no. This is the furthest point in space and time that we can perceive from a technical standpoint. This is effectively the observable known universe edge. What is beyond that is referred to as the opaque universe. This is the boundary between what we can see and what we can imagine. Let us now venture even further beyond the observable universe's edge. What could possibly exist there? We've only ever looked at what existed at a certain place in space in the distant past. What may possibly exist there now is an even more inconceivable question. The particle horizon, or the furthest distance one can view into the past, is located at the frontier of the observable universe. Everything we've seen thus far has been done so with Earth at the center and time scale backwards with distance. This raises the question of whether the universe is limitless. According to Einstein's theory of relativity, a flat world must be endless. Can we thus conclude that the universe has no beginning or end? It is not an easy task. 
we haven't been able to definitively ascertain whether the universe is infinite or not. Thank you for watching. Let us know what you think about the universe's edge in the comments below.